my recent purchase, which is kind of a big one to me. As they're here, and I, I bought two. People who are really into fashion, you guys probably will recognize right away with this color and this print. Yes, it's two pairs of Stuart Weisselman boots. I know, I know. <laughs> I finally took the plunge because it's a really good discount. So over the years, I've been wanting to buy a pair of boots from Stuart Weisselman, but as you guys all know, the price is really intimidating and it's just a really big commitment to me. I was like, does that really worth it? Well, I wear them often enough to rationalize this price tag and I was just debating to myself over the years and the price is increasing every year. So, you know, it's kind of like a Chanel purse. You're like, oh, if I don't buy this year, the price will go up, but it's just like over thousand dollars. This is like over hundred. <laughs> so I already had a pair of uh, over the knee boots from Nine West. And link there. I showed with you guys. Um, I really like that pair of boots, and I'm still going to keep it. I used to tell myself that's the only boots you really need. Why you need a store the wiser man? They're pretty much the same thing, real leather and uh, over the knee. So what's the difference? Yeah. So this video, I'm gonna show you guys um, how I rationalized this purchase. <laughs> two pairs I bought is Highland and Hilo. So if you go to their official website, you will see for a pair of Highland, it's 798 cents plus tax if you live in somewhere which is tax free like me. Do you think I worth it? No, I won't buy a pair of boots for more than $800. It's just like, no. So where do I did I buy it? I bought it from Nostrum Rack. And also place like uh, Sex of the Fifths, you can find like almost half the price but the thing is the size usually sold out really fast if you're like 7 through 8 usually they goes really fast and you have to just check it very often to get a really good deal Hilo, I don't think they still sell an official website but also I found it in Nostrum <laughs> as a reason really makes me to buy I was like wow this is a really good price I, I don't want to miss it so I bought them, both of them honestly I'm not going to tell you guys how much I actually bought them but two of them combined together is not anything close to 798 cents but I do have to say I really want to buy a pair of grey or taupe I think it really goes well with the spring theme of your clothes but the thing is it's really not that easy to come by at Sex of Fizz or Nostrum Rack, those kind of stores but do I really want to buy them with 798 cents? no, not yet maybe one day I don't know so this is the first pair I bought, I think it's it's a good start. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna show you guys this pair. It's their Highland. So it's really self explained They have so many different styles. They look kind of similar if you're not really into the fashion things, but they're different. So Highland, as the name as, it's a very high heel one. I believe it should be like pretty high among all their classic boots. So I bought this one because it really elongate to your legs in a beautiful way. I definitely want one. So the other pair I bought is the Hilo, which is a, a more flat pair of boots with a zipper. So it's easy to put it on and take it off. So today I'm going to show you guys how I style those Stuart Weisselman over the knee boots with those clothes behind me. As we all know, over the knee high boots is not like invented over the night. It's, it's been there for a long, long time. So why nowadays it's became more and more popular is because people find more ways to style them instead of just wearing a mini skirt. I personally don't like the mini skirt match with the over the knee high boots. It looks very pretty woman. <laughs> you know that movie. <laughs> and we all know so many celebrities they wear Stuart Weisselman's boots and just like make this brand so popular and. That's why they increase their price every year. It's just like pissed me off. Because this brand is has a long history, and I think back when they still have those boots, it's not this expensive, but it's just now people buy it, so they have the right to <laughs> increase the price. So you will wonder which pair to buy because they all look almost similar. You know, over the knee high, it's either like tie at the back or with a zipper and different lengths and just different toe but they are like a leather with some suet different color or napa leather the reason why i choose suet instead of napa leather is i really don't like the reflecting of leather it just makes it 
not in a good way. Uh, I don't know. Also, leather, if you bend it too much, the line will be super obvious and trust me, if I buy a pair of boots with a really expensive price, I want them to last as long as possible. <laughs> yes. So, I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about those boots I purchased so far. I wear them a couple times. So yeah, I asked myself the same question, which pair to buy because they all look similar and they all look great on models. I mean, <laughs> the answer is you have to buy them to figure out, just like me. So I'm going to tell you guys uh, the reason why I think which one's better in which way so you guys can decide which pair to buy depending on your own body type. And so before I made the purchase, I just like very determined saying, yeah, I don't have skinny legs. I have pretty muscular calves. So definitely those kind, how am I supposed to take them off and put them on? I definitely have to have a pair with zippers. So they have like a, a bunch of them with zippers and I was always like keeping my eyes on those zipper ones and never look at those ones. So that's the reason why I bought this pair. I was like, oh, this is awesome because I have my night vest and it's also a zipper. And I figured this is really easy to put your jeans inside than this one. But since now I have both of them, let me tell you. This is better. <laughs> I don't want to check out the price, but this is better. And why? Because this one, the fabric is stiffer. So you have this like shaft thing on top. It's just like more like a riding boots. Even though with the zipper, it probably is really easy to just pull your pants down from over there. However, I feel like this one is more flexible and you can really just roll it down to like at least here. And then you can roll more, so it, which makes it easier to pull it on. Imagine if you go visit some of your friend at their house, and then at the end of it, you kind of want to like rush it out. You don't want to just stay there for forever. But that one, you ha probably have to take forever to pull it on. This one, I feel like it's easier to take it up, off, and this one is actually tighter to your legs, which means it will make your legs longer and slimmer than that one. That one. Above the knee part is just like not with your legs when you move around, but this one definitely is. However, this is uh, according to my body type. But if you have really skinny legs, this one probably is not good for you. Because I heard a lot of people saying this one just keeps sliding off. But I never had this problem because my legs is not skinny. As I said, it has to be dependent on your different body shape to choose which pair is your favorite. So for me, overall, I think I will keep this one for sure. If I have to choose one of them, I probably will definitely choose the one with the tie back. I really like those styles. They are way easier than I imagined to put it on. In conclusion, I think it's a really good pair of boots. Well made. Definitely good quality. And I love every inch of it. I think it's beautiful. It's the best pair of boots I ever had to shape your legs and make your leg look like it's longer than it is. Do I think it was $798? No. But if you can find a good deal with those kind of boots, especially now, I believe every year after spring, you can find them always on sale. And if you lucky enough find the size suits you, you should get it. That's my words to you. <laughs> oh, and also the size. Actually, I wear 7.5 to 8, but this one is definitely 7.5. 8 is too big, even for my feet. So it's usually like a half size down, just my opinion, but better to try it or find someone with free return so you can always return it. Okay, so I've already said my reason why I bought this pair, but now I want to show you guys how do I style them so you can wear it more than often to even the price tag. Yes, you don't want to really wear it once a year, so it doesn't worth it, right? So as I said, I really don't like the mini skirt matches with this. Of course you can, but I just think it's really like everyone can do it. What's the point of match it in my video? <laughs> so for one, you can do is wear a dress with these boots. It instantly give you a put together kind of feeling and this is the minimum you can do. Cause I really don't like to wear like a skirt, top, cardigan, sweater, jacket, coat, scarf, it's just too much. We are already on March, at the end of March, so like this and that, you're done, you're good to go. Your boyfriend won't wait for you for like good 30 minutes. I mean, for me, nowadays especially, I like to put more time on my makeup, so 
I don't really want to spend that much time just dig out of my closet and find out a perfect match with everything, but this is perfect for it. Yeah, I really like this new dress I bought. It's flattering enough. So you have the tight bottom with like loose top. It's the easiest way to head out of the door but still look nice enough. So the second one I want to do is a cape. I'm not sure but there's this picture I really like about uh, Olivia Palamore. She has this uh, style with a um, cape with um, a pair of short white on boots and it looks really classic and nice. I don't know why the tag is still on but every time I put it on it doesn't really bother me. But I do wear this. Her cape is probably more expensive than I but you got the idea. So the reason why I want to mention a cape because the chunky sweater knit thing or those kind of like flare <laughs> flare sleeve clothes it's really not easy to just squeeze them into like a little skinny sleeve jacket so that's the time you really need this cape in order not to freeze to death so this is the one you can do with that so next look I came up with is match this boots with a oversized equipment Caramel cashmere cardigan. I really like this color and I feel like this is just totally a beautiful color for a lot of seasons. Yeah, you can wear it probably not summer, but early spring, winter, autumn, you can always wear it. It's just like a very neutral color to match with everything. And I also like the oversized style because I picked the size large. Yeah, you want to create a more like a casual street kind of feel, so just like dress down a little bit instead of making it too aggressive, I would say. So this one is definitely the one I will go for and to create a top loose and bottom tight kind of look. So you still show a nice leg but also you give this like a very softer feeling to the whole look. So next one I came up with is more like a semi-formal. So the dress I picked is this drop waist knitting dress from Gap actually. I was thinking to get a more formal one but I think it is just too much and I really like the drop waist one so you have a little flare thing going on for the skirt part but it's not like super uptight because the jacket I want to go with that look is this one so it's a little bit too like you know those Chanel tweed kind of feel with all those like pearl that's why I wanted the inside dress to be more like a little bit tuned down. So the next one I am actually really excited to talk about is this bomber jacket. I know, I think Acne, yeah, Acne Studio, they have this bomber jacket. It's uh, more like a, a dusty pink, kind of like same feeling, but mine is not Acne. I don't want to spend that much money yet. And then you pair with a legging. As we all know, like Gigi Hadid or Kendall Jenner, they all like to promote this uh, as a leisure kind of style, which is wearing legging and like a crop top sports bra and then this like aviator jacket uh, with something like that. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it looks good on them. So I kind of want to challenge that look and I think they should match well because sometimes we're rushing to the gym. If you go there in the morning, like a weekend, let's say, but after that, you probably have to go somewhere else and you don't really want to look like you just got off of the gym but if you put this boots on instead of a pair of sneakers you totally just change the whole feeling of the look you just look very uh, street casual and you know effortless beauty so the next one I want to do is a lot of people do it too you just pick a pair of skinny jeans like a really skinny one especially on the calf or everywhere you want to cover with this boots Definitely not boyfriend jeans. I mean, if you want to, I don't know. It, I can't imagine that. It just looks weird. But yeah, tight jeans with the boots. It looks really good. But I don't want to do it with flat boots because you look like you're going to horse riding. But this one is definitely cute. Uh, imagine the back with this little bow tie thing. And especially for me, I don't really feel comfortable to show too much of my leg skin. I would rather wear just a pair of jeans. Even if I have tiny leg, I feel more comfortable covering it up with jeans. Yes. <laughs> I'm such a prune. Okay, so next one I have is this uh, oversized sweater. Originally, I want to get another look with a oversized hoodie because it's really trendy now to do it. Like, you're missing the bottom part of your body, you know, kind of thing. 
Yeah, but I, I don't really have oversized hoodie. I really don't like a sweatshirt with no zipper. Think about it. I like to do my makeup first and then pick my clothes. And going through that little narrow neck part, it's gonna ruin my makeup. So usually I don't like to do that. Or if you just go shopping and try clothes, you usually ruin those clothes with your bronzer, contour, or your foundation. I mean, I don't want to do that. So I usually don't like those kind of design. But I like a, a good oversized sweater. It gives you very effortless, as I said again, effortless beauty and just like it looks so casual but still with that boots, you kind of like a match the perfect balance to the slouchy laziness of this look with some tight nice boots. Okay, I think that's all the look I created. I'm pretty sure with all those looks you can go to different occasions for the look I created. With the jeans, you can go to work, or with this long cardigan thing, you can go shopping, walk on the street. With the bomber jacket and the legging, you can actually go to the gym. And with this cape thing, you don't freeze yourself to death. So, I think I pretty much covered the base of the over the knee high boots styling and with those versatile look I created, I can wear my boots more often and many different occasions to make it rise and shine instead of hiding in my closet and waste all my money just to one pair of boots I don't usually wear. I hope you guys like the look I created. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I do all kinds of different things to my channel, whatever makes me happy. It's not just for the view, as you guys can see, otherwise I'll promote my channel with like by the view, but I didn't yet. <laughs> so yeah, I like cooking, I like styling my clothes, I like to do makeup, I like to traveling and do some vlog things as well. So please subscribe my channel and you will see more dimension, <laughs> more dimensions of my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!